Hey guys, so again, trying to record this video. Um, it keeps, or it was, not recording audio. I've recorded this video three, four, five times, and the audio just not picked up. So somehow my microphone got turned off. So I had to re record it a few times. Uh, this time actually is working, I've tested it, so that's hopefully a good thing. If you can hear noise in the background, talk noises, my brother, his room is like next door to mine. It's this, this wall, we share this wall. So. It's going to be noisy. So it's been a very, very long time since I put the video because I keep trying to put them up and they keep having audio. And I uh, yeah, have been working quite a lot recently. For those of you who don't know, I am a waitress and I work fairly frequently. But I work sort of sometimes only a four hour shift, but it's I work a lot of days out of the week. And I work odd days and odd hours. So if I'm on an evening shift, I won't finish until 10 o'clock at night. And yeah, I'm a big baby. I tend to actually like my sleep. <laughs> so that's bedtime for me. And I stay at my friend's house and I don't bring my laptop with me. Well, my boyfriend's house. I stay at his house when I'm working. I don't bring my laptop with me, so I can't record videos for you then. Not to mention you guys don't want to see me after a day of work. You really don't. I look like death. <laughs> so my hair at the moment is a mixture of turquoise and midnight blue. I'm just I have the dyes. Ooh, close up my face. Yum. Ooh. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to be on YouTube. Um, did I put them in my hair dye box? I didn't. They are somewhere. Basically, turquoise is more greeny blue and midnight blue is more of a dark blue. Oh, they're right next to me. Turquoise, midnight blue. Uh, try and... I use the lid to show you. So that's turquoise. It's more of a kind of greeny colour. Comes up more blue on my laptop, and then midnight blue is definitely a, you know a much darker blue, which is much sort of closer to my hair colour at the moment. And although you can't see, I have actually got a big purple streak here and a big purple streak here, and the ends were purple, but I got most of them cut off because my hair was really damaged. So to specify about my hair being damaged, it wasn't damaged due to me doing it silly colours like blue. It actually was damaged due to me doing it back blonde on holiday because I had to put about three different. No, I think I bleached it twice, which you should never ever do, but I did. Um, and I had about three or four like permanent colours on top of it. Blondes and browns and whatnot, because it wasn't taking. And then it faded back, and then it got sun bleached, and then chlorine water and salt water, and it got really damaged. So I had to get it all chopped off. So as a result, I've got all these like really short layers, so as you see my hair kind of goes in here, because I have these little short layers here, and my hair just doesn't really, doesn't really know what to do with itself. So it's quite a lot shorter. I did have a tan when I recorded this originally from being on holiday. I don't anymore. I'm, uh, I'm as pasty as ever. So that's great. And this is what colour my hair is at the moment. And I've, I've also just been shopping with my mother. And I've got some leggings which I think are pretty cool. You know, look, a little sort of comic-y style. I think they're quite cool. Um, Oh, also, this isn't exactly a hair dye related thing at all, I did just buy some new eyeliner and it's purple. And I may have knocked it off the edge. Oh, it's over there. Wait a second, let me just... Oh. So if anyone uses gel eyeliner, I do, these ones. So this is my black one, which I haven't used yet because I've just ran out. It's my black one, black gel eyeliner. And come, then you'll know that it comes like a little brush, like this, like a little, little eyeliner brush, and you should just sort of do it straight across there, or wherever you put your eyeliner. Um, and it's really, really good. I find that it stays a lot better than pencil eyeliner, and where, where pencil eyeliner, I, like I've got a little pencil as well, I find that they tend to go sort of grey sometimes, and you get a lot of fallout, especially when I'm working, when I'm, you know, a fairly long shift, I find that I get it all under here, I don't notice it. The gel eyeliner is really good for staying, and with the brush, it can be really sort of precise with it. It's not, I've not done it particularly nicely today because I haven't really bothered, but I have just bought the purple one. It's not, you know, overly purple, it's really dark actually, and it looks black until, like, unless you're up close. Second. I don't know if it'll show up on my webcam or not. Oh, you can kind of see, look, it's kind of purple. So it kind of looks black, and then you come up close. And it's purple. It's also not applied very well at all. But I just thought it was quite. Oh wait, you can just kind of see my purple bit there on my hair. A little purple bit there. But yeah, I just thought it was quite interesting. An interesting thing because I do all sorts of weird things with my hair, and I don't normally mess around and make it very much. I tend to just stick with what I do, which is just eyeliner and mascara. Um, I've also got a rat, which is, you know, it's lovely. Look at that. It's not attractive. 
So the reason I mixed two dyes together with my hair is because turquoise wasn't staying very well for me, but midnight blue was too dark, so I've mixed them both together to create a kind of excuse me, a kind of mixture of the two colours, so it stays better. And the ends are purple, but I've dyed over them because I can't bother to keep doing it. So that's what's been going on in my hair. Um, as far as what I'm doing next, I'm not sure because the colour it is, like the way it is at the moment, it needs to stay this colour until you know all of this hair is grown out realistically because it's damaged. And doing a different colour involves bleaching. A lot of people say I should just go back to blonde, but I don't really want to. But I don't know what colour I'm doing next. Depends what condition my hair is in at that point. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with my hair. I've also got nerdier to sort of things to talk about, so I'm going to put a separate video for that because I know that some of you probably don't give a flying monkey about well my nerdy things, and you probably just want to watch my hair. So hair video complete. I will see you guys next time, and if you're going to watch it, then I'll see you in my sort of nerdy things video. I say nerdy, it's not really nerdy. I think I feel like the word nerd is overused, but I don't really know what else to, to, to call it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you then. Bye guys, thanks for watching.